There are countless mysteries in this world. To be honest, we know very little about it. Although we think we know some of it, there's still a lot to discover and unravel. And I guess that one of the creepiest and most mysterious topics and videos that we could ever analyze or talk about are sightings of strange creatures that should only exist in myths, tales, and stories told by ancient civilizations or ancient tribes. It's pitch black out here, so you can watch the screen. Look at that. You can, you can literally drive the car with your lights off. Usually, uh, it's, what's that on the right side, dude? We, we were playing in there. It was kind of cold. It was in March. He looked this way. He looked down the road, and he said, Who's that? Who's that guy watching us over? And we all looked and we we're like, we didn't know who it was, but whatever or whoever it was, he was really big, he was tall, he would stand there and watch us and every now and then he'd lean over like this and then he'd stand back up and watch us some more. However, if we go deeper into this topic, we'll find out that there are a number of people out there nowadays that have come across something that they couldn't fully explain in the woods. They may take a stick and bang it against a tree. Bang, 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 bang. And us aboriginals, when we're taught hunting skills, as I taught my son and others, when you hear that banging of a tree, you stop, turn around, and go back where you came from. That's the Bukwes telling you, my family's here, I don't want you coming further. What happens if you go further? Well. Just go on the internet and look about missing people who went camping and kayaking. Not only that, there are the missing 411 cases where people suddenly vanish. Hunters, families, children, people that sometimes know their way around, simply vanish in the woods for mysterious reasons, never to be found again. Well, Today we're going to be taking a look at some of these cases, but before we go into that, we're going to take a look at some of the most compelling videos that show evidence of the supposed existence of some of these creatures that, like I've said before, should only exist in tales and stories. Are you ready? I'm James Lafer, and you're watching The Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel with notifications on, and, well, let's go. Now when it comes to the legend of Bigfoot, there are many names that this creature has acquired, including Sasquatch, Stone Giant, Yeti, Skunk Ape, and many more, often based on words of Native American origin. And there's one thing that people think about it is that it's most likely to be found in North America. The truth is, there are sightings and evidence that this creature, whatever it is, can actually be found in several places all over the world. And I guess that one of the most compelling videos that has ever been caught on camera is a video published by Ukrainian YouTuber Asti Nick. And as he writes, I'm not sure who or what this is. This is what he was able to capture on camera while he was hunting in the woods. <laughs> The video itself isn't very long, and there seems to be no background story to it. Everything points to the fact that maybe SD Nick actually re-uploaded this small part of the video from another, longer version. It seems that a hunter is in the woods and comes in direct contact with some sort of creature that actually looks like a Bigfoot, or something like that. The creature's gait, the size, and the way it walks, everything points out to the fact that maybe this is as legit as it can get. But because the video is too short, it's very hard to say if this is a hoax or something else. Leave your opinion in the comment section below. What do you think is really going on here, and could this be a legit sighting? SD Nick's video is very compelling, but sometimes it's not just what we're seeing. Sometimes it's what we're hearing around us in the woods. And in this next video was captured in Siberia, in Western Cyan, 
by the hunter Sergei, who uploaded his video to a YouTube channel known as The Bad Pioneer. His YouTube channel is focused on friends, hunting and things of sort. There are actually almost no videos of strange, mysterious and dark things, with the exception of one video where Sergei decides to investigate this mountain range in Siberia. After getting information from another hunter that the place was not good, that there were things there that they couldn't explain, curious and a good hunter, Sergei decided to investigate for himself. And this is what happened. In the first 15 minutes of the video, nothing unusual happens. Sergei is hunting as he usually does. It's at nightfall that things start to become creepier and creepier. Starting with what appears to be someone screaming very loud in the distance. Scared and curious about what exactly is going on, Sergei continues 200 more meters deeper into the woods. This is when he finds himself in an area where there are many fallen trees. This is when things start to get eerie. At this point, I remember what native watchman Tom Seward said about Sasquatch knocking on trees as a warning sign, and this is exactly what happens with Sergei. They may even come down and shake some foliage for you if they feel threatened. They may take a stick and bang it against a tree. Bang, 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 bang. And as aboriginals, when we're taught hunting skills, as I taught my son and others, when you hear that banging of tree, you stop, turn around, and go back where you came from. That's the Bokwes telling you, my family's here, I don't want you coming further. He hears what appears to be some sort of knocking on the trees, and somehow Sergei feels that this means danger in sight, and he climbs one of the trees to hide from whatever it is that he feels is surrounding him. This is what happens next. Look. After hearing the strange knocking sounds and the vocalization of whatever creature it is that seems to be surrounding him, Sergei hides on top of a tree and there he stays for quite a while. From where he is you can actually hear a river nearby. This is when things start to get even stranger than they already were. This is what happens next. At 
at this point, Sergei is confused and scared as one can get. He starts shooting his gun around and he tries to go back to his campsite. So he climbs down the tree and this is what happens next. At this point, Sergei the Hunter became the Hunted, and he knows that there's something approaching him even though he is trying to get closer to his campsite. Once again, Sergei in fear starts shooting around as a warning sign, and this is about it. He goes back to his campsite after recording all of this strange event and uploads the video to YouTube. The video amassed millions of views with people from all over the world leaving comments about their own experiences with similar things. In your opinion, what do you really think that Sergei encountered in these dark woods? The vocalization is identical to many others that are recorded all over the world. This, to me at least, makes it very believable that maybe it was Bigfoot. And what would you do if you were in Sergei's situation? Now the thing about these kind of videos is that most of the times, people will actually capture something strange or unexpected by accident. And this is sort of what happened with Amanda Reidinger in Provo Canyon in Utah when she was going home late at night and she spotted something chilling just next to the road where she was at. This is what she caught on camera. Right there, right there, stop, 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 back up, back up. It was right there, I just saw it. Did you see it? What appears to be a giant ape-like creature seems to be hiding between two trees. It appears it was caught by surprise and it didn't like it. When Amanda goes back with her car, the creature is no longer there. So whatever this thing was, it was quick and it was big. The thing is, we can't see much in this video, but Amanda went through the trouble of actually recreating the scene with an actual human so we can compare sizes. And it seems that whatever this creature is, is about one to two feet taller than the average human being. And this actually made a lot of people question this video. Is it a hoax? Is it a fake? And while some internet users agreed that this might actually be a hoax, others questioned why would she go through all the trouble of making a comparison and investigating further if this were to be fake. So I'm not too sure. I'll leave this one up to you. Is it just a fake or could it be that Amanda actually encountered something else out there in the woods that night? Now just picture this, it's a bright sunny day in Lattice Lake Park in Florida and you decide to go canoeing with a couple of friends to enjoy the fresh air, birds chirping and nature in general. The last thing you expect is to actually have some sort of strange encounter with an unknown creature. And that sort of will happen with Matt while he was canoeing in one of the swamps in Lattice Lake Park. He sent his video to Bigfoot Evidence YouTube channel and this is what he saw.
did you see it? Well, luckily Matt and his friend did. They spotted what appears to be a giant skunk ape creature drinking water from the swamp and they stood there quietly for as long as they could. But as soon as they started making noises, the creature jumps into the swamp water and starts walking inside of it very quick. Too quick to be a human being. According to Matt, the creature actually walked a few steps, went underwater and vanished. Matt immediately contacted a ranger, showed her the video and asked if this could possibly be a bear or something like that. The ranger responded that bears do not usually go inside the swamp because there are 12 foot gators and other dangerous creatures. Not only that, it seems that there aren't many bear sightings specifically in this park. So what was it that Matt saw? Now one thing about Bigfoot is very interesting. Most sightings in the Northern Hemisphere occur in the Himalayan regions, in the northwestern parts of the United States and Western Canada. In fact, Canada has the most sightings ever recorded of what's supposed to be this human-like creature known as Sasquatch. And I guess that one of the most intriguing videos of such a creature was captured in a city called Mission in the province of British Columbia in Canada not so long ago. The video was supposedly captured by Chinese tourists when they were touring a park. And this is what happened. Sasquatch. What appears to be a furry, human-like creature can be seen crouching just next to a road inside the woods. It appears to be digging or something like that. The group of Chinese tourists seem baffled by it and immediately start capturing it on camera. However, for some unknown reason, they don't seem to be afraid of it. And there is actually one tourist that tried to get closer to it. Then it makes some sort of noise and this is when the tourists decide to get far away from it as fast as possible. The video was published to Legend Tracker YouTube channel and at the time it divided internet users between is this a bear or is it really Bigfoot. What I find interesting in this video is that whoever is capturing this on camera did not capture it very well. Not only that you can see that everyone else is recording it. Where are these other videos? It's very hard to say if this is legit or not. But at the very beginning of the video, it is seen like this creature, whatever it is, has long arms and long legs, making it improbable to be some sort of bear or something like that. But I'm not too sure. What is your take? Located in East Central Arizona, the White Mountain Apache tribe presides over one of the largest tribal lands in the nation. This area is known as the Fort Apache Reservation or sometimes known as the Honda Apache. The Fort Apache Historic Park includes several historically significant sites, from buildings dating back to the 1800s to the fort itself. Many people visit this park for elk hunting, fishing and other year-round outdoor recreation. In May 2020, Candy Tortoise was with a couple of friends in the Apache Reservation late at night when they actually caught something chilling on camera. And this is what happened. A sinister howling noise can be heard coming not too far from where Candy and her friends were. It left all of them alert and baffled. The video left the internet divided. Some people believe that these could be wolves 
and others say that they have heard similar sounds and they believe it is Bigfoot, but I'm not too sure. What do you think is really going on here? Is it Bigfoot or maybe something else? Go. The band we chose was the Taiga border forest, which is located in Russia, Northern Canada, and there's not much information about this next video. It seems like a couple of boys are studying for tests in school when all of a sudden the dog senses something strange behind one of the windows. It's exactly when the curtain opens that you can actually see a strange creature watching them from just outside. Whatever this is, it was coined as a Bigfoot sighting and I can't say for sure. The video is too short. However, it doesn't seem like a fake to me taking into consideration that dogs and cats have an extra sense when it comes to identifying strange and bizarre things. What do you think? Is this some sort of hoax or is it a legit sighting, a strange and unknown creature? Published by Sasquatch Central YouTube channel, a strange creature was spotted in Alberta, Canada a couple of years ago by a family who was out for a walk just next to a river. And according to them, before they got this creature on video, it had walked a few feet, looked back at them, and then crouched down. However, they were able to capture some of it on camera, and this is what they saw. That's not a human. Wow. That's not a human. That is not a human. At first, they thought it was a deer or maybe a human. It's when the creature gets up and walks away very fast that they find out that it's none of them. It's something that they had never seen before and they wouldn't even know how to explain. To be honest, I'm not sure if this video is legit or not. However, if you think about it, it's not always that you have a camera ready with you to capture something unexpected. The thing is, most of the times, we're not ready to capture anything at all. And in most legit videos, people only capture half of it or even less. But I'm not too sure. What would you say? Now let's just take this moment to think about it. If Bigfoot does really exist, there should be more types of videos of it, such as security cameras, dash cams, and so on and so forth. Well, a couple of years ago, a police dash cam was able to capture something baffling on camera while two police officers were chasing a car late at night in Georgia. What they captured on camera left them baffled. This is what happened. The video footage is blurry, however we can actually see what appears to be a huge creature walking on its two legs crossing the road taking only three steps to do it. This would mean that whatever this thing is, it is not human. And by the cops' reaction, it's definitely something that they had never seen before. In the video, you can see them turning around and searching for whatever this thing is without any success. In your opinion, is this just a blurry video of a human being crossing a road, or is it something else? Oh, 
In 2016, a family was strolling around the countryside in a town called Bashkortostan in Russia, when all of a sudden they noticed a strange and big creature following their car. At certain moments, they stopped to try to identify what it is that's following them, if it's a human being, or if it's a bear, or if it's something else. I think the video speaks for itself. You can actually feel what the family was feeling through this video. They were scared of this humanoid-like creature. Take a look for yourself. At this exact moment, it seems the driver gets out of the car to check exactly what it is that's going on. Is it a human being? Is it something else? Is it something that's following them or is it just a coincidence? Well, this is what happened next. The creature seems to be getting closer and closer. The driver now asks the passenger in the back seat to open the window and capture it all on camera. However, things don't go as expected. The video ends abruptly without us knowing exactly what was going on. However, by the family's reaction, it does seem like it's legit. Bigfoot Tony YouTube channel was the first to analyze this video, so I'm not too sure what is the original source. What do you think is really going on here? Is this some type of unknown creature, or is it just someone pranking them? Now just imagine the following situation, you're enjoying Christmas evening with your family and you decide to tape that wonderful evening moment, when all of a sudden you capture what appears to be a large humanoid creature lurking just outside of your home. Well, this is sort of what happened with North by Wild West YouTube channel in 2014 in Minnesota, and this is what they captured on camera. Merry Christmas everyone! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. The tree. Oh my god. Do you see that? Something's behind the garage. Did you see that? No, what was it? It was really big. Oh my god, do you see it? Yeah. Oh my god. No way. That can't be. What the hell? Oh my god, are you, are you getting this? I think so. Oh my god. 
One of the family members along with some others captured what appeared to be Bigfoot on camera. Now when they open the door they have a small dog and this dog actually senses this creature and runs directly at it. Things however don't go as expected. Check this out. Oh, oh no. <gasps> We're real scared of him. Rath. You stay here, Rath. You stay here. At this moment I thought that maybe the video was fake, however the dog seems to be apprehensive and kind of scared. It doesn't seem to be wagging its tail anymore and it's barking like a scared dog would. It's gonna come out in the clearing. The thing is, they continue on recording which was a smart move and this is what they end up capturing on camera. Oh my god. God. We were get back inside, guys. The thing is, when this video was published, it divided internet users between this is some sort of acting, it's fake, and others who would state that they have heard of Bigfoot in Minnesota and they had seen something similar. But it's very difficult to say. In some moments, I do believe that they're kind of acting and it could be fake, it could be just planned. It's kind of a coincidence that she's recording Christmas and all of a sudden she turns the camera to the window. However, the dog's reaction really does seem legit, and when she finally captures Bigfoot in the clearing, it kind of looks like it's real, but I'm not too sure. What do you think? Now, like I said in the very beginning of the video, there are dozens of people who go missing in the woods for mysterious reasons. And in the early 1970s, Al Berry and his longtime friend Ron Moorhead went into the woods of the Sierra Nevada mountains in Eastern California and collected a series of what appears to be Bigfoot vocalizations. And they called it the Sierra Sounds. Now there are many theories to what is really going on here. Some people say that this is actually fake, that it was actually illegal Chinese immigrants that were hiding deep in the woods. They did not want to be found, so they tried to scare off the hunters with these mysterious sounds. However, it is said that experts and researchers have analyzed these sounds and have confirmed that this is not a human being. And if you compare these sounds with many other sounds that are recorded in different videos from all over the world, they are very similar. I hope you can hear this, Al. Kind of sounds doggish, hyena-ish. But you can hear it going off in the background right now. It's really kind of strange, just to say the least. Uh, it's been going off for about 15, 20 minutes so far since it started. It's probably only 200 feet, 300 feet from me right now. I don't know what it is. In other words, this could be the real deal. And maybe somewhere out there, there are unknown and unidentified creatures such as Bigfoot, Sasquatch and many others that live somewhere hidden 
in our woods, caves, and mountains. What is your take about Bigfoot and other types of unknown creatures? Do you think that we already know every creature that lives in this world, or do you think there's a chance that there's much more out there that we don't know of? And have you ever encountered such a thing, or do you know someone who has a story that you'd like to share? Don't be shy, I'm waiting for your comment. Anyways guys, this is it for today, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel with notifications on, we do have a Discord server if you want to join, link is under the description. And I'll see you guys again 